I led them into a world where they were strangers, where for the first time they saw a whole order independent of man, from the simplest life to the most complex, from the gentlest to the most aggressive. The coral reefs that support man's island life sustain an immense variety of underwater creatures. Sea anemones carpet the reef like jungle plants, but they're actually predators that stun their victims with poison tentacles. Protected from its deadly sting, the damselfish lounges among the anemone's arms, luring creatures to their death in the tentacles. Even the most sedentary forms of life are sensitive to danger. The Tridacna clam can detect the slightest change in light or hint of movement. Sea urchins, relatives of the starfish, rely on bristling armor. Even more impenetrable is the black-spined sea urchin whose foot-long quills are tipped with venom. Yet these shielded creatures provide a slow and gentle service. As they move from place to place on tiny tubular feet, grazing on algae among the coral, their teeth wear down the reef bit by bit, grinding new sand for the floor of the lagoon. I try to communicate my own sense of wonder to seek out the world concealed from us and show my family that for the creatures of the reef, each bit of coral is a permanent refuge or a momentary hiding place. Some creatures, like the bulldozer shrimp, are moved by instinct to scoop out homes, which they defend to the death with sharp pincers. sea cucumber engulfs its enemies in a mass of sticky strands. But on the reef, no weapon is invincible. Nature's balance is maintained by hungry grazers like the surgeon fish. Many creatures patrol set territories, while others wander nomad-like over the ocean floor. The bold coloration of some reef dwellers serves to distract their enemies in the speckled undersea light. Perhaps the most elaborate disguise in nature protects the emperor angelfish. In its juvenile stage, the emperor angel's coloration resembles the eye of a giant fish. After several weeks, it begins to change into the adult pattern of jarring stripes. coming of night brings added danger. For then, the lionfish begins his hunt, cruising among the coral, protected by poisonous spines. Invisible until ready to strike, the coarse skin of the stonefish blends with its surroundings. Much feared in Polynesia, it is one of the most poisonous fish on Earth. Its sting may bring paralysis and delirium, and can kill a man in two hours. I teach my children not to hate even the fiercest creatures on the reef, but to treat them with respect, because they don't kill out of hate or vengeance, but from the simple instinct to survive.
Creatures large and small take turns in a strange performance as they are picked clean of parasites by tiny fish called wrasse. At these cleaning stations, all natural hostility seems forgotten. As its teeth and gill sacs are groomed by the wrasse, a five-foot moray eel looks as if he could purr with pleasure. Once provoked, its knife-sharp teeth can seize its victim in a death grip. In the world of the reef, apparent gentility is usually just a matter of a satisfied appetite. The reward of exploration is a single moment of discovery, a glimpse few have ever seen before. It might come after years of searching, or only a few minutes into your first deep dive. At a depth of 130 feet, we come upon what appears to be a field of writhing stalks. Known as garden eels, these strange creatures are so elusive, they rarely appear at close range. It is when you take the time to look that the commonplace becomes wondrous and wonders become commonplace. <laughs>